Hey guys, welcome back to Wing Customs. Well, I appreciate you guys watching. This one is going to be interesting. Uh, this is the 37 door. The lowest section on this, I do want to refab it because it is very rusty. Um, it's definitely still solid enough to reuse, but I really want to get this looking new again. Down this bottom section, the front, uh, front side of the door is completely rotted out down the bottom. Uh, I'm a bit nervous about cutting it and pulling it out without ruining this bottom section. Uh, a big thing to note when you're doing this sort of stuff, what is still attached um, and what's not, because I could just try and cut this out, then I'm actually gonna lose the original um, depth of how far down this needs to be and all that sort of stuff. So I'm gonna do this in two parts. Um, as you can see, I've just drawn a line along this bottom section. This is where I'm going to cut it. I am actually going to cut along here, take this section out, make this in two parts. Um, I'll be hammer forming this top section. And then uh, this bottom section is probably pretty simple. It's pretty easy. Um, that will just require a nice little fold and a little bit of sh uh, stretching on the stretcher. That's going to give it the curve. Um, and a little bit of a tip there, uh, that'll be just a straight line, I guess. Maybe because we have curves this way down there, I'm, I may have to try and do the fold itself. But I am working with smaller lips, so smaller lips do come out really good on forming form work. Um, so that's possibly the way I'll go about doing that. Top section which is what I'm going to start with, is cutting this piece out. Um, I won't be moving anything lower than this line until I've got this all sorted up the top. Once the top's done, then I can figure out the bottom if there are any spot welds along here, which I doubt there will be, but um, if there is, I'll just drill those out and try and slide this out without snapping anything down here because I think there's not a lot holding that that on. Um, this side's pretty solid around the lip, so that's gonna give me a good reference. But other than that, I'm gonna get straight into it and start winging this one the best I can. All right, well, I'm at a stage where I really want to get this custom look on this panel. Um, panel looks good, it's come out pretty well. 
so far. Like I definitely could straighten up this edge a lot better, nice and neater. I'm not at this stage yet um, to worry about that. I really want to get some dimples put into this panel. Um, I think that would look really cool along these. This is the driver's side, that's the uh, passenger side door. So I'm, while I have these uh, little forms out, I might as well get the other side done. Now, a big key to doing these forms, if you're doing left and right, make sure you flip them over. Otherwise you are making exactly the same as the other side, which kind of would suck. You spend a lot of time doing all that for it to be the exact same. Um, these are a little bit different. They're a little bit fatter on one side, a little bit skinnier there. Um, and the curve also is a little bit different, vice versa. So anyway, I'm gonna get stuck in doing some dimples. Um, obviously there is a dimple press die punch thing that can punch these holes out simply as. Um, I don't have one, so I'm gonna do it a little bit older school. Um, drilling some holes and I do have a wicked little punch that I'll show you guys to do some dimples. Very simple, very easy. A um, little bit of time, a little bit time consuming, I guess, over using a proper dimple punch set. Uh, but again, you guys don't have one. This is a very easy way to do it. Get the same effect, same look. So I'm going to get straight into this. I'm going to mark out my holes, drill the holes out of these templates and do some holes in the steel and we're pretty much set that's as um, easy as that really you get the holes in this holes in that and start punching um, yeah let's get into it and see what it looks like Secret little punch is a toe ball. I love these things. They absolutely come in handy for just about anything. Um, if you're wondering what size hole saw I used for this, it is a two inch, 51 mil hole. And these toe balls fit absolutely perfect in them. Um, so I'm just gonna use that. Using the table as a stopper, I'm gonna smash the hell out of this thing to get it down. Um, just enough so he hits the bottom. Let's see what happens.
let's have a look and see if this is somewhat of this. Well, I reckon that's pretty good, guys. I'm, uh, there is this big dent here. Which I could probably try and knock out, but I'm pretty confident that this is going to be uh, pretty well right. So now we're going to get some curve into this, um, and I'm simply just going to go, go on the stretcher and stretch this bottom lip. Um, hopefully that's going to give this a little bit of curve. Now as a reference, as a guide, use the piece we have already made. Um, and we're simply trying to make this curve in there. Once that's all nice and pretty, we can weld her up. However high it's supposed to be, we can probably just push it like that. And you get the picture. <laughs>
All right, guys, well, thank you for all watching. I absolutely appreciate it. Um, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. That, I reckon, looks pretty good. I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I do want to put a few more dimples across here. I reckon that would look a lot better than just the three. I do have another idea, is just putting a couple of beads, um, nice angles, something like that. A little bit more detail, uh, but overall, piece has come out really nice and pretty happy with it. It's um, definitely a huge improvement from what it did look like. Um, yes, the original ones look really nice as well, but extremely hard to find. Um, so, without saying any more, that is the new piece that's going in. Obviously, I can't really weld. I could go weld it all in now, but there's no point. Um, I do need to make the outer sides as well. That'll be probably for the next video. So again, hit the subscribe button, give us a comment, let me know what you guys think. Um, yeah, appreciate it, and I'll catch you all on the next one.